everything i eat in a week christmas edition now this is like maybe a week or two before christmas but you know the christmas vibes start in my house november 1st so this is just a little taste of what i ate around the christmas season so i started off with a nice little christmas brunch for everybody my mom and sister actually just got back from a big trip so i wanted to you know do something a little special get in the seasonal vibe so i made these hamburger bun egg things with tomato and spinach because you know christmas colors and cheese on top we had it with like baked beans and potatoes and it was absolutely delicious and we were stuffed and later i made some little roy boy lattes i know it's it's not pronounced roy boy but ever since we started doing it as a family now i just call it roy boy tea and i think that's a little bit more fun than roibus or however you're supposed to pronounce it and then i munched on some broccoli as you can see by my shirt i was uh, in the middle of a crafting little thing and so i barely even stopped to have lunch but i was also kind of still full from the big brunch that we did so yeah we just skipped kind of right to dinner after our little broccoli snack and i decided to make some homemade pizzas for everyone and i started making pizzas in my cast iron which is so much better than doing them on like a pizza pan because one comes out seamlessly look at that nothing left and then two they get so crispy and crunchy on the outside oh my gosh i did like tofu bacon on mine absolutely delicious and then i had some chocolate for dessert and that is my favorite chocolate right now the i chalk hazelnut one oh, the super nut i think it's called is absolutely delicious also your girl started a new sourdough because i have had like i have tried sourdough so many times and failed and we're finally going to get it this time then the next day i made some chex mix which is one of my favorite holiday treats because it's savory and I, you know i love a savory snack and i had some leftover butternut squash tofu curry for breakfast because the most elite breakfast usually is like leftover dinner breakfast if you know what i mean and curry just like get better with age you know like they just taste so nice because like the flavors develop and then lunch i made this like chicken caesar wrap with spicy tofu chicken thing and it was like falling all over the place and then i had some chex mix and i made my sister some at home starbucks sugar cookie latte syrup and we both had a latte and you know what it turned out amazing it was is it as good as starbucks yeah I think so. Uh, and then dinner, we were watching Elf. So of course we had to eat some spaghetti and we didn't put maple syrup on it, even though I'm like, I was always tempted to, but just some classic spaghetti, you know, tomato sauce. I actually added some like veggies and lentils into the tomato sauce to make it a little bit more like, you know, a little more something, something to it. And I just love Elf. Like, how can you not love that movie? It's such a favorite i don't know it's just so good and then we opened some advent calendar stuff look how cute the little snowmen and the chocolates were and my sister actually went out with her friend and she brought home some a and w onion rings which are accidentally vegan and so good i love an onion ring i mean their french fries are amazing there too but I just love an onion ring. It's uh, sensational. Then I had these buns in the fridge that I had to finish up that I made a few days ago. And I decided to make a little breakfast sandwich. And I also made myself some clove tea because my throat was feeling a little bit weird. And then I heard this thing that like clove tea is really good. And you know what? It actually was. And my throat felt so much better after. Look at this sandwich, the bun. We got some homemade mayo, my little just egg with the cheese, tomato, uh, we got a lettuce oh, and the apples with a little bit of cinnamon on top oh, cinnamon apples or a little like honey maple syrup on there too so good and then i went to my friend's gender reveal party she's having a baby and i guessed it was gonna be a boy and guess what it was a boy i was right and i was so proud of myself then I got home and I was going out again. And so I had to make a really, really quick lunch. So I made some Chinese tomato and eggs with some rice and I was rushing. I was like scarfing this down. You see, I didn't even take off my coat cause I had to go. Um, but then when I got home, I decided for dinner, I was going to make some poutine pierogies, pierogi poutine. I don't know, whichever way you want to say it. And I can't take full credit for this. It actually was in the back of the box. And I saw that and I said, oh okay we gotta do this like i need to experience this because you know the potatoes are just kind of like the french fries in the pierogies right and i made some homemade mozzarella like 
cheesy thing that we like melted with it and the gravy had some broccoli for health you know because health is wealth and it was just as good as you think it was also we also snacked on some chex mix and guys i eat a insane amount of chex mix when i make it it's it's bad, but it's so good. <laughs> and then I made some latkes because happy Hanukkah to anyone who celebrates. I love a latke. And I, oh, latke with a little bit of like coconut yogurt or sour cream. And then I made some homemade applesauce with them. And they were just sensational. I love a potato. You could serve me a potato in any form. I will eat it and I will jump for joy because potatoes are the one and only you know what i mean <sighs> so good and then i made myself another little sugar cookie latte because i mean why would i not in a little seasonal cup uh you can't get better than that then i had some this nut mix that we got and we weren't really using it and i was like oh, what could i do with it and i made some nut butter okay also sorry i took my iron there and i made myself some ramen because i was so cold and i just like needed a ramen you know what i mean and i don't make nut butter because it's really frustrating you know like it takes forever but this nut butter tasted like the inside of a ferrero rocher it was so good and i had some dates with it and then i made my little chickpea barbecue wraps for dinner with my homemade mayo lettuce tomato all the good stuff. Then I had a little um, coffee, a little cafe lib with some more of my Chex Mix. Also guys, in this clip, do you see? It looks like I have short hair. And these are the things that get into my mind where I'm like, oh my God, I should just cut my hair because it actually looks so cute. But we all know that if I actually cut my hair, it probably wouldn't look that cute. Okay, sorry, we're diverting. Ooh, the next day I needed to use that nut butter again because it was so good. So I said, heck, we're gonna make a little two-part toast thing. I made half a piece of toast, with nutella and the nut butter literally tastes like a ferro rocher best thing i've had ever and then i made a little like banana sandwich with the other half and i was still hungry after both of those so i also made myself some just egg like a little just egg cheesy omelet thing and i made these pine cone treats that i'm sure you've all seen all over tiktok and instagram they were so good my friend and i then went on a hike i got a panago cheesy bread and they gave me a regular one instead of a vegan one but they were so nice i went back after they made me a full fully new vegan one and i kept the other one so the fam got a little cheesy bread too so everything worked out but it was so sad i was expecting pizza and i just snacked on like pretzels and hummus because that's all she had in her house but it's okay we move on, you know what I mean? It all worked out in the end. And my sister made a little uh, coconut tomato doll thing that I had with some spinach on top for dinner along with the cheesy bread. And of course, B-Boy's gotta have a little spinach, you know, cause he loves the stuff. And then the night before with my little sourdough discard, I was making a little pancake mix because, you know, we got to use that discard. We don't want to throw it away. And people are always making such amazing recipes with it. And I was so excited. So you have to like make it the night before and let it like ferment. So, you know, it's all those natural gut probiotics and look at it. It looks so good. And then the next day you just add like oil and I added, I think like a flax egg and stuff. And they turned out so good. They were like crispy and golden. And we all had it, you know, with a little bit of apple juice. We had a nice little breakfast out of it. And it was delicious. Like, look at those. You can just tell, oh, I love a pancake that's like soft on the inside, but crispy on the outside. Oh, oh my favorite. And then we had a little coffee with it too. I'm obsessed just with like a cafe lib right now i don't know it's like i'm so cold all the time so i guess just a warm coffee is just hitting hitting right and then i really wanted again i was cold so i was like ooh, a soup and i wanted to use over the leftover doll from the night before and so i made it into this like coconut curry soup thing that was so good we added some greens and i had it with another little piece of cheesy bread it was absolutely delicious and it really hit the spot i kind of burned my mouth on it though because i ate it when it was still really hot but anyways we move on then i peeled like a million little tiny potatoes to make mashed potatoes which is so frustrating they were so small but then i made some homemade little meatball things some green beans you can see where i'm going here i made a little ikea thing at home because i don't have an ikea very close to me and i need swedish meatballs in my life you know what i mean then the next day and i made another little discard dough recipe thing i really was craving a cinnamon raisin loaf because i don't know cinnamon raisin loaves are like very like holidays to me 
So I started prepping that. I also made some granola. Look at her. Ooh, I love homemade granola. And for breakfast, I made eggs Benedict. And I made like one of my little Denver omelets on one of my little homemade little, what are they called? It's an English muffin on a homemade English muffin. And then like the little Benedict sauce. It was so good. A little explosion of flavors. And the bread turned out so good. Oh, you, you guys can see my camera in the background so often. Like there's not like a day that goes by that I'm not filming something, either TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. It's like, I never eat a meal without filming it, which is so funny. But I also had a little snack of the granola because I didn't have it for breakfast and it was so good. Nothing beats homemade granola. Like truly, it's the best. Then for lunch, I had these mushrooms I had to use up. So I made these like deep fried little mushroom things served it with a little bit of tartar sauce. They were so good and like crispy. Ugh, I love them. Look at those little guys. And again, the bread turned out actually like one of the prettiest breads I've ever made in my life. It was golden. It was like, it rose so nicely. I put a little bit of butter on top. So it was so shiny. And look at me like Ariana grande in that. Like ugh, it, it's, look, I added this clip of the next day when I actually cut it. Look at that look at the layers look at the squirrel look at the beauty like i've honestly never seen something more beautiful in my life i it's one of my proudest accomplishments and i just slathered it with butter toasted it it was it was an experience it was really really good and then for dinner that night i made a macaroni and cheese we came home really late and this recipe just comes together in literally like 15 20 minutes so that's really perfect and it was absolutely delicious and then the next day well this wasn't a full day but i just wanted to include it we did our little cookie baking day so i made everybody i made like a peppermint mocha for me and my mom and lattes and hot cocoa for everybody and we just all dove in and we made like our 16 different types of cookies that we make every single year and it's just so fun like it's one of my favorite little holiday activities to do because everyone gets involved we listen to really good music and yeah that is everything i ate this week mm -hmm.